All right, welcome back to the channel. If you're just joining me for the first time, welcome. I'm gonna be taking a look at the performance of a personal defense round I've been carrying for a few years now, and I've actually never shot any right out of the box. These are Winchester PDX1 Defender 380 hollow points, 95 grains each. I can already see comments rushing in about how I should be test firing ammo before I carry it, but that's not always possible, and it is commercially manufactured, not assembled in someone's basement. So when I carry this gun, it is in an inside the waistband holster. Obviously this isn't a Walter magazine, but this one is a Metgar. I swap it out every so often with the original Walter magazine I have. I have a mixed load in the magazine. A random wad cutter full metal jacket is at the bottom of the stack. Every other round is either a Winchester Defender, True Hollow Point, or a Hornady Critical Defense. The Hornady is marketed as a hollow point as well, but the center features a red wax tip that Hornady claims is to help hold the projectile together until it hits the target. I have a target set up at just over 10 yards. I guess I put it, could have put it out a little bit farther, but the theme of this test is self-defense. Going out farther than 10 or 15 yards really defeats the purpose of a defense. You're really getting into a gunfight at that point. The box claims 1,000 feet per second coming out of the muzzle, 991 feet per second at 5 yards and 960 at 25 yards. So without a chronograph, I'm going to guess that this is 975 to 980 at 10 yards. So anyhow, I'm going to be shooting from the bench. I don't remember what I paid for this box, but there's only 20 rounds in it. So again, I got the four rounds out here because that's what I carry. So I'm going to start with these and I'm going to put a few down range and we'll see how it works. The range safety officer called a ceasefire and I can see the six rounds I've shot are so far so good. This is a side-by-side -side comparison with a Winchester full metal jacket round. Other than the obvious crater feature in the slug, they are similar. There are opinions weaving through the Walter forums that feeding issues can occur when shooting hollow point ammunition and armchair gun enthusiasts advise against this. I even read one post about a user polishing the feed ramp. I'm definitely not going to go to that length. The owner's manual doesn't specify a type, weight, or brand of bullet to be used. It only advises against using reloaded ammunition and lengthy cautions about misfires. On this trip, I ended up firing all 16 rounds that were in the box. The rounds gave a stand-up performance with no functioning or feeding issues. Every one of them cycled cleanly and accuracy wasn't bad except for the marksmanship practices and errors that were because of the shooter. I will continue to carry what I have left of this ammo and would definitely recommend it to other shooters. Mm -hmm. 